All right, Ari, this is going to be a quick run through your different exercises, less about uh, specific coaching cues and more about just reminding you of the patterns. So here you're lying on your back and you have your hip circles both directions. The idea is to work hard to expand the circle. These are your egg beaters. You're keeping your knee vertical over your hip and rotating the lower leg in and out. We have two different directions. You're going to execute the drill for three to five reps each direction. And again, with all of these hip circles, you're going slow, trying to find your end range, and then slowly expand that end range. Here's your standing hip circle sequence. This looks really dang good compared to uh, when we were doing it here in the clinic. You're staying pretty tall. You can see you, you bail out just a little bit, but you have awareness of it. And so uh, with that awareness um, will come improvement. Windshield wipers on the ground. As you start to slide your hips away, um, reset the hands closer to your hips to maintain um, an optimal angle. And then we have our bow and twist. As you bow, lead with the belly button, and as you twist, try to pull that trail hip uh, and butt down to the floor. Now we go into our modified pigeon isometric. So again, the protocol is settle into a moderate stretch, five big long exhales, then 10 dynamic pulses, and then you're gonna reset into the stretch, one or two big long exhales, and then begin ramping up your isometric contraction. So in this case, pushing down with the outside of your leg and foot. Hold that for 15, 20 seconds, and then relax, sink deeper. Now we're gonna do that same protocol for the trail hip. So five long exhales, 10 dynamic pulses, as you see here, settle in. Begin your isometric, ramp it up from first to third gear. Hold that for 15, 20 seconds, and then relax and sink deeper. Now we're going to move on to your slump progression. So foot and hand, same direction, fix the head and move the foot, fix the foot, then move the head. And then opposites. That's looking really good there. And then finally, your, your standing hamstring isometric. Uh, what's important to remember here is to keep a soft knee. Don't lock that knee out. Keep it slightly bent, and you're doing a good job winding up from the hip. So we can tell because you're staying proud with your chest. You're not slumping through the spine. So that concludes the uh, program for now. If you have specific questions on cues or what you should be focusing on, uh, let me know, and uh, we can um, clarify that for you.